Hi there, I'm Becca Feekin with Amazing Paper Grace, and today marks the third in my three-part series on the Mink Machine. Today, though, we're going to learn some advanced techniques, like we're going to learn how to look at intricate dies and use them for the basis of your minking. From this day forward, you'll look at your dies with a discriminating eye. Also, we're going to learn how to make minked backgrounds that you can then take and put an overlay on top of. There's a lot of work to be done. I'll see you in the craft room. Today we're going to look at some more advanced techniques in the way of combining dyes and um, using intricate dies. So here's a card that I made. It's a little bit more advanced than what I showed you in my last video because I have two die cuts here that were copied at the same time and then cut at the same time. And then you'll see here that I have an intricate die cut on the inside. It's an inlay, so that gives it a nice block of color right there. And so, yes, you can actually use your other die cuts. You just have to look at them carefully. So let me just kind of go over how I got to that. If you remember from looking at my last video, I told you that we use the copy machine. So I went to the copy machine with an oval and with this. And so then, of course, I mink it. And then after minking, I put my die cuts down, face down like this. I match this up. So as long as you can match the intricate part, you're good to go. And then I'm going to cut. And so that's how I come up with this element. So after I did that, I got to thinking, wow, you can probably use any intricate die cut. And you can. but. It's going to take a discriminating eye. And so one of the dies that I thought, ah, I think this will work really well, is this cross. So if you look at this cross, there are a lot of embossed areas and then there are some cut areas. And what that means is where there is nothing, it's going to copy white. Where there is dye, it will copy black. Where there is black is where the mink is going to go. So I knew that this would be a great candidate and this is what it yielded. Just beautiful. I mean, all of a sudden that dye comes alive. You know, the embossing and the mink on the embossing is exquisite. So there are a couple more. I just think you should try with all your dyes to see. So I had this and it has a lot of open areas and I thought hmm that could work of course when I put it down on the copy machine it does not have tape you have to just set it down and then of course to cut it I would tape it together but that yields this so if you can just imagine you can actually come into these white spaces and you can color so now on to our next um, I told you that I would talk to you about making backgrounds that you can actually add an overlay. So this is the basis of our background. And if I go to the copy machine, this is what I'm going to copy. And then I have a card started. Once I have minked this, I actually chose silver in this case, but look at that. So what I did was I minked it and then I actually added the die back on top and embossed it without cutting. So there's a background. Any of your full background dies that you have, if they have little openings and they have a little bit of character, you can use those for your minking. But, but check this out. I wanted more texture, so I cut another, and I'm just going to insert it right here. Look at that. That gives you a whole nother dimension. And so I'm basically done with this card. All I need to do is glue that down. 
going to glue a sentiment right here. And go in with a bow. And there we go. So if you are new to the Mink Machine, please check out two other Mink videos that I have on my channel. One is a basic and one is um, an introduction to the machine. And if you like this video and the eyes and the ideas that I've given you, please click like and I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel. More videos soon and thanks for coming. I'll see you soon.